Hello, everyone. How are you today? I am Ryan McCrary, CEO and founder of McCrary Financial Solutions. We provide financial solutions through business development, financial literacy, and digital marketing. So today I just want to talk about what I always want to talk about, the stock market. People are making so much money in the stock market. People are making money hand over fist. So if you're not investing, you must not like money. Let's just call it clear and simple, plain and simple. If you're not investing, you must not like money. So if you don't like money, you don't like making money, you don't like making passive income, you don't like seeing your portfolio rise, you don't like your money working for you, that's okay. Go do something else. This is not the channel for you. I would recommend that you go to a different channel uh, where there's different type of information, different type of atmosphere, because I like making money. Now, that does not mean that I worship money money over everything. No, 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 no. I am by no means part of the money over everything philosophy. I do not worship money. What, uh, what made me realize that I just wasn't that person like money over everything. You know, I worship money. I do anything for money, but just basically working in corporate America, I seen how I could go up the corporate ladder. Like literally if money was everything to me, I could be sitting in a corner office making $200,000, be a token at a fortune 500 company, but I would have had to change who I am. I would have only been around, you know, for the money, just to make money, just to have a corner office, just to have a high salary, just to have a nice band, whatever the case may be. But I decided to say, okay, well, I can take my information that I learned, my skills, my expertise that I learned, and now I may not be able to make as much money. Well, I can, you know, my goal is to make a lot of money, you know, build a million dollar company. But even if right now I'm not making $200,000 a year for paying somebody else, Maybe I can make half that or a quarter of that for myself, and it's my company. I own it. I make my own money. I make my own schedule. I do passive income. I can do what I want. Uh, I can work 10, 12 hours if I want into my business, into my dream, and still make money. Instead of doing all that just to make you know, all that money for someone else, uh, if I truly had that philosophy. So that is, you know, just to tell you that I had my aha moment working in corporate America, seeing how things go, seeing how you rise the ladder, seeing how to network and rub elbow with the right people, see to get in those private meetings and those private circles. I've seen all that. But at the same time, I still like making money. And anybody that has a business knows you have to have revenue or you have no business. So daily, constantly, every day, I'm still focused on making money. But that doesn't mean that I worship money or I sell my soul for money or money or everything. But with that being said, there's a lot of money being made in the stock market. So if you're not making money, if you're not invested, if you're not interested in learning how to invest, how to make money, you must not like money. So they even nowadays, they have apps. Uh, you know, uh, we got a recent student, John Costner, just recently uh, became a part of the McCray Financial School and emailed me and said, I didn't even realize I could buy stocks or invest in a portfolio for as little as $5. Literally, as little as $5. She said, I didn't know. Now I'm gonna do that today, tomorrow, every week, you know, put it on auto, whatever the case may be, probably, because I didn't know that information that I can invest for as little as $5 a day. So now with the apps, the apps have literally revolutionized everything. They have changed investing and business and finance and wealth because there's no excuse now. You can literally invest for as little as $5, $5 a day or $5 a week, $5 a month, whatever you can afford, and almost anybody can afford that. So now what's stopping you? I set up for my family members and aunts and my mom and my cousins and everybody. Like, Listen, all your purchases you make every day, you can have that extra money just going to an investment account and then it's going to build. Uh, you know, you can have $5 or $10 extra instead of going to Starbucks, instead of going to McDonald's or instead of going, you know, to the movies. Um, you can put that extra five, ten, twenty, a hundred dollars into this app. Just as easy as you can go on Facebook, just as easy as you can go on Instagram, you can get an app where you can literally put money in or have it automatically put money in. And the difference is it's not just going to a savings account. A savings account is good, great to have save, you know, save money, have liquid money, uh, savings, an emergency fund, absolutely. But it's gonna be going into an investment account. So of course you have your principal what you put in, and you're also going to have the gains. You're going to have the interest. That's compound interest. So that's how you truly build. That's how you truly build wealth. Um, so if you're not investing, you must not like money. You must not like money. The first time I was ever introduced 
to investing uh, was just working on my previous job. And I just said, I had my moment like, wait, once I started learning, you know, I did training and all about learning information, learning information, learning about investments, all that. You can only learn so much in a training class. Once you get out onto the floor, once you start talking to real people, millionaires, or people that don't have that much money, uh, or just people on a daily basis, uh, and they're actually in the world and learning about investments, you're really placing trades, you're really doing trades for people to actually get that money. You see those checks going out, you see those direct deposits, you see those bank accounts, or you see those investment accounts, you see those 401k accounts. Once you see that type of stuff, you realize anybody can do it. Anybody can invest. That's how I always thought growing up. You know, people talk about stocks and it's so risky and what should I pick and all that stuff because we just didn't know enough information. A lot of us get our stock market investing, wealth fitting information from people that don't know nothing about it. People that just heard stuff or, you know, they may have read an article or a paragraph, not people that actually studied it, people that have PhDs, people that work on wall, you know, real analysts, people that actually have Series 7 and Series 63 licenses, people that actually work in the industry. We get our information from someone who heard something, or oh, my uncle told me this, or whatever the case may be, but that's what holds us back. That's what holds us back. So once I realized and once I became uh, aware of the correct knowledge on investing and all that stuff, I realized anybody can do it. Anybody can invest. And this is even before the apps. Anybody can invest because it still only you know, costs 50, 100 bucks to actually buy a share of stock. You can you know, put in more if you want to get a mutual fund or you know, build a real big portfolio. Um, but it doesn't cost a lot to invest and anybody can invest. It's all about having your mind right. So if you like money, I would you know, suggest you invest in the stock market. Now, I'm not telling you go pick this or that. I'm not giving direct advice, not giving recommendations, please, nothing like that. I'm just saying this is something that you should be looking into, something you should be aware of because you could be missing out on hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of dollars. So that's it for today. For more information, you can sign up at themccrayfinancialschool.com. That's the McCrary Financial School.com.